All these in the name of the Lord. Lord through Jesus. Amen. Now it's working. Glory to Jesus. Reverend, please stand up so that we can read the word of the Lord. The word is, which is in Matthew. Matthew 16. From... Matthew 16, from verse 13 onwards. Matthew 16, verse 13 and onwards. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Have everybody found? It is there also on the screen so that we can follow. I greet everyone with, with the peace of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I was worried with the microphone and didn't greet the brethren. Glory to Jesus. Thus says the word of the Lord. When Jesus came into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? So they said, Some say John the Baptist, other, uh, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Only to hear, my brethren. Lord, we adore your name. We praise you, Lord, for the songs that have, we have already sang, for the revelation that you have given to your church, we praise you, Lord, for your care, for your love. Continue with us. Give us a blessing tonight. We pray to you in the name of Jesus. The church may be seated. The word of the Lord is, it brings to our um, a scene tonight in which the Lord Jesus he, he comes to his disciples like if he had something that he was concerning him. And Jesus comes to those men and says, Look, who do men say that I am? Uh, translating to our contemporary language is... What is people talking about me out there? What is people talking about me out there? What is the crowd? The, the world is being speaking about me. And the disciples, they were there always with the crowd and the people. They answered, some say that you were one of the prophets that returned, John the Baptist. Or they say that you are Elijah. Or Jeremiah. Or even one of the prophets. But Jesus, in everything that he spoke, he had a purpose. And the purpose of the Lord Jesus was to once again to teach to the ones who served him to, to teach them who Jesus was 
So then Jesus comes back after what he heard the disciples said, and then he said, how about you? Who do you say that I am? That's all right. Everybody's saying what, what the crowd, what the crowd, the opinion of the crowd. But now I want to know what you, my disciples, think I am. And we know the answer of Peter. Through the Spirit, not through him. Through the mouth of the Lord, Peter answers, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Peter, he was very blessed in, his, in this answer. And the Lord Jesus says, Blessed are you, Simon Peter, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And it is interesting, this detail of how the Lord, he, he had this conversation with his disciples, questions and answers. The Lord Jesus, he wanted to reveal himself even further. He wanted to say, you need to know me better. In fact, Jesus wanted them to know more of who Jesus was. Because there are many opinions about Jesus. We hear many times, even in, in songs of praise, the songs of praise are going to say many things about Jesus. There are situations in which they say that Jesus was someone that was a revol revolutionary. Yes. Or Jesus was this or he has a style like that but what is important for the Lord is of how we are seeing Jesus how you see Jesus who do men say that I am how about you it's very difficult to explain something regarding God we may be able to understand a couple of things, but explaining God, you would have to be God, right? God cannot be explained. There is no way to explain. But we, by the Spirit, through the Spirit, we can have experiences with the Lord. Look, the Lord Jesus did this for me. The Lord took care of this situation for me. Because no one could resolve. And it is interesting that the crowd and the people, they had an opinion. A few would say that, a few say that you are Jeremiah. Because the people looked to the Lord Jesus and they saw a man that had suffered. Jesus walking there under the sun going back and forth and preaching and there was a little similarity with Jeremiah but Jeremiah he was only a man Jeremiah as a prophet he spoke from the part of the Lord he suffered he suffered like in the same way as Jesus also, he had his moments of suffering. But Jeremiah died. He died. And the Lord Jesus, there's a difference. Because Jesus died, but he resurrected. So Jesus could not have been Jeremiah was not possible but a few of the people would say also look you may be Elijah the prophet that performed wonders because they saw the signs that Jesus operated Jesus operated signs and wonders look the blind they can see 
and the lame now are walking. Jesus resurrected the dead. And also Elijah had us something that was similar with Jesus because Elijah was a, a mighty prophet. A fire came down from heaven. Elijah prayed to the Lord and 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 uh, it stopped raining and then he prays again and rain comes down. But Elijah, as opposed to to Jesus, he was taken up by the Lord. He was raptured by the Lord. He went to live with the Lord. Not Jesus. Jesus died and then he resurrected. There was a difference. Others would say, look, He is John the Baptist. Because the Jesus' message was the same uh, message that John the Baptist also preached. Jesus preached about salvation that heaven has come to us, the, repent the repentance. There was a concern from Jesus about people repenting. He is preaching the same thing that John the Baptist used to preach. But Jesus cannot be also, cannot be John the Baptist. Because John the Baptist did not perform any sign of wonder. But Jesus operated. Jesus would heal, would give sight to the blind. And in many ways, but not John the Baptist. John the ba Baptist had a mighty word that was given by the Lord. And Jesus also had the same word of a mighty word. But there was a difference. Jesus was God. The prophets also, they healed. But the difference was that Jesus not only healed, He is the healing. Jesus is the healing. Many received blessings from the Lord. But Jesus was not only this. Jesus is victory. And the Lord tonight gave uh, a, a sign, a spiritual sign, regarding a sister, a servant of the Lord, that is here tonight. And on this sign from the Lord, the Lord was showing that she has already, already seen many doors. But those doors, they were not real, real wards, real doors that you could open. They looked like real doors. But on the spiritual gift, she was now in front of this door. The door is this place here. And this, the spiritual sign also said that she was also endowed. But an angel helping her allowed her to enter through this door. And now she is enjoying the same blessing that we also enjoy here. Jesus is the door. And he says the following, if we go through him, we go through this door, and we are going to find pastures, food, and relief for our souls. Jesus is the one who changes, that transforms. Jesus wanted the disciples to understand this. Jesus is God. There is no other definition. Jesus is God. He is the Lord. And he can do all things. Not the prophets. The, sp the prophets spoke from on behalf of the Lord. They would carry the word. They would hear the voice of the Lord and would relay the words that the Lord had spoken to them. Jesus explained this, and we need to understand. 
Jesus is much more than we can think or imagine. The Lord Jesus has much more to do. And sometimes we we think, oh, this is too hard, too difficult. Is it possible that, well, it's not, it's not possible. The Lord can do, He can do, He can perform it, this miracle. The Lord Jesus is the one that changed the man from the inside. Gives man a new sight, a new perspective. And s we w heard the question, do you know the Lord Jesus? What have you been thinking about the Lord Jesus? Is it possible that we have placed a limit on what the Lord can do? There's a song that we sing that says what the Lord can do is indescribable. In indescribable. We're going to sing this song later.
the Lord Jesus is here tonight. He gave a victory to this woman. She now knows the door. And the sign says that she entered. And tonight she received a blessing from the Lord. And that's how the Lord works. He changed men from the inside. This woman, she was transformed tonight. But the Lord does not want to stop there. He wants to do even more. He wants to change our hearts. He wants us to leave this place knowing that He is the greatest miracle in our lives. There's no greater miracle than this. Changing man, bringing him, calling him to be closer to him and to tell him, I have an eternal life to give you. Imagine, can you imagine? Can you stop? Have you stopped to think an eternal life? Sometimes our notion of eternity is too small. It's to live forever with the Lord. Is to live a salvation. That's what the song just said. There's no greater miracle than this. Sometimes we get attached to such small things. Oh, my, my problem. But the Lord is giving you life. You're going to live in eternity with the Lord. What else sh can we want other than this? We need to love the Lord every day. The Lord Jesus is greater than the sufferings of the prophets. Jesus is m much more than a beautiful preaching. He is the Word. Jesus is much more than a, a miracle. He is healing. He is life. He is eternity. Jesus is the solution. If we could see any other, but there's no other. There's no other. There's no other God like the Lord. I invite the church to stand up at this moment. The church now be glorifying the Lord. Jesus is not only a message, He is the living word that transforms. It is an indescribable God. Glorify the name of the Lord. My church, I am your God. The word, the world do not know me, but you, my church, you know me. The world does not know about my love, but I tell you that I have revealed their eternal love to you every day. The world does not know what salvation is, but you do. You know who your Savior is. Church, now I ask each one of you, who do you say I am? I am the Holy One of Israel. 
I'm the Alpha and the Omega. I'm the first one. I'm in your midst. I'm the one who blesses. I'm the healing. I'm the peace. I'm the love. I'm the, the God in your lives. And especially, I speak to you, my daughter, who came to my house tonight. You did not come late in my house. You came at the right time. And I tell you, there is still room at this table. There is still room at this church. There is still room in this fellowship. And I call your life to stay in this place. And I tell church, I tell you that it was a great feast of glorification and praise to gather with my intermediate children and adolescents. I tell you that I have another feast prepared for your lives where you will be praising. You glorify your God. So now church, praise our God because I am in your midst. My angels are praising and walking amongst you. They sing songs in my eternity because, because I am. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Lord, we praise your name. Because you are in this place. Our hearts with filled with joy. We are happy, the Lord. Uh, we are happy, Lord. Because we are filled with your grace. Take up on your hands our praise, our songs, our gratitude. Fill us, Lord, with your love. Take us home in peace is the prayer that we say to you in the name of Jesus. The church may be seated. Is there any any announcement? Can the pastor come here? Praise the Lord, my friend. The first week of 2023, January, the 7th and the 8th, we're going to have a seminar on Florida near the church, uh, near the city of Orlando. After this coming week, the brand, we're going to receive the link so that we you can do your registration. We're going to inform you so that you can get ready. We may all be there present participating on this seminar. And you who are with us, if you desire, next week we're going to put, uh, give you more instruction. If you need to pray for a life, a clarification of the word, of the gift that was transmitted, we are here at your disposal. I'd like to bread, remind the brethren that tomorrow at 10.30 in the morning at Sunday school and 7.30 p.m. another service of glorification to the Lord and to all the peace of the Lord.